You cannot be more than what you know unless you seek to know. And then our attitude towards soil, it is very dirty. If a child even steps in the soil without slippers, is nicely slapped. You go back and wear your slippers. And that is how we've lost our connection to the environment. Madness is not being conscious. Not being conscious means that you do not know. But you do not know that you do not know. The bliss of ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> we found that when people die and they are out of the body and we pronounce them dead, there is something which remains. You have a conscious presence today, but you do not exist. That is why even tomorrow you will not exist, because you have never been. So now, doctor, you mentioned something about love. It is very interesting how a person with this, in this void, this human <laughs> void, eh, can claim to be in a relationship. <laughs> so I wonder, doctor, how do relationships in these modern times mm. and the guise of the human void, because mm. actually the person ends up being in love alone. <laughs> <laughs> with the illusion of love itself. <laughs> Ay, 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 ay. You know, in life, life is a very interesting thing because everything we think the way life is is not what it is, you know. But we never question it because we don't apply our minds to to it to the circumstances of our lives. This is this is not being able to answer the human void. We feel it, but we try to cover it with a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Like I said, materialism, you try to cover it with things that uh, are like addictions. When mm -hmm. you get used to certain coping mechanisms, they become behaviors you adopt and which become a lifestyle in mm -hmm. order to avoid yourself. And when you have behaviors and patterns that you do every time as a habit, mm -hmm. then those addictions so these addictions can be jobs, these addictions can be looking for money, chasing mm -hmm. materialism, these addi addictions can be power. These addictions can be to cover up fear in whatever form that you want to, to cover it up. But let me give a scenario, because first of all, we are individuals in society. Mm -hmm. Before we become members of a family, before we become members of other big communities and matrices. Mm -hmm. So as an individual, you imagine me, I'm a, I'm a girl, I meet a boy. My void is fear, control, and materialism. That is the template. So, if I'm a woman, according to the understanding of human behavior and the void, mm -hmm. you know, women usually, we give away our red flags mm -hmm. very fast. But we'll pick a partner depending on how much that person is able to bear our negative flaws. Let me say I have a child. If this person accepts my child, looks after my mother, uh, does a few things that shows he can endure my red flags, the things about me that show that I'm not in control. If he can take up the control and be in control of those areas and show that he's in control of them. This is the human psyche under the human void like you ask. Mm -hmm. Femininity acts differently from masculinity. Mm -hmm. I'll also get to masculinity. Then I'm convinced that this that person is Mr. Perfect. Is Mr. Perfect. I'm choosing out of the template of fear, control, and materialism. And materialism. True. This is how the human void survives. And I'm navigating and saying this will I'm here. If he can do these things for me. He's for World Cup. He's for World Cup. You, you get it? So <laughs> then, <laughs> then, then he goes for me. Mm. You, you get what I'm saying? So this thing of saying this woman was good to me and mm. then when we were in a relationship, she didn't show me this side you're joking. Women never lie when they are dating. They will always test you. They will play hard to get because it is dependent on how much you can endure, how much you can suffer for them, for you, in order to qualify, to be able to either take on the power, which they do not have that they are giving you. It's the same dynamic. Yes, they slap you with their fear. Yeah, yes. yes. <laughs> and then they are expecting you to take over control mm. and navigate every problem that they fear in life. The day you fail, they are going to be 
looking elsewhere because there is a void inside them. But so has Lime also mm. come with his fear. Oh, yeah. You, you get what? <laughs> he needs to be, because he is so powerless within himself, mm. he needs the support that he's believed in in order to feel powerful, which is again the illusion of feeling power and control. So he needs to control something. So he will come and he will say, now here I come, I've done all this to you. Then the woman must say, yes, you're, ha you're good to me, you've done this to me. And then I, this is where love you comes in. Love you is an interpretation of surrender. You get what I'm It's not something you share with another person. It is a tool where you say, now I identify, you can take away all my fears. For that reason, I let you lead me and show me where I must go. And then I love you with all my heart. <laughs> there is no heart you have at this point. <laughs> no, the expression. <laughs> like the expression says, now I love at you. At this point, you have a void. You have something that looks like a heart, but it's of matter. Mm. In essence, <laughs> you don't have yourself mm. to even be giving yourself away to another person. Mm. But if I want security, I can also want it in numbers. And mm. I'm saying, Ibra, now, I want children. But mm. the children are like an army I'm building for myself. So if I am with you and I do not have children, which means I'm building an army, enough people who are going to be looking out for me in life, who are never going to leave me alone, who are not always going to be, I'm the number one. Eh? Mm. And they have to put me number one. I get there and Ibra is important. Then the reason I went to like Ibra is not there anymore. It was serious business. I had a problem, you had to take it away. And the same thing also goes for men. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm trying to say? Then there are environmental prejudices on a secondary level. Now there I'm talking on a primary level. Just look at the mind of the two people coming into these relationships. Mm -hmm. But the reality is, the more you give something that you do not have, it ends up wanting to take your very life. So mm -hmm. you wanted something, you celebrated it, you, you get it. And because this is an illusion, it is celebrated like a fairy tale. Mm. As a woman, you cannot tell someone and say, you're not going to wear a gown, wear jeans, we go to the DC A1. Who are you telling we are going to go to the DC? You, you for know, for nuptials. <laughs> you know, everybody is living a dream. Mm. Even the dream is a dopamine high for a while that shows life is beautiful because of this. But you're falling for an idea nobody has ever lived. It is not a reality. It is another illusion. Do you get it? This is why you must also celebrate it in a fairy tale. Mm -hmm. Really, since when has something which is supposed to con to consolidate who you are be such a celebration? It, it is a celebration because it is it is like a triumph from the human void. You have now gotten someone to take you another level. Do you get the human psych? Basically, you've got a leader who you're going to give. <laughs> this I is what it. you celebrate. I've got someone to be with in my life. All around us, you came here. Mm. Even as you are walking, you met people on the way. And those human beings, mm. the difference is someone is going to bear your load here. Wow. So even what we call love, we don't understand it. Actually, as we go ahead, that subject I would like to explore and talk about what exactly the love is. Because love is all about consciousness. Love is the vibration of consciousness that you are. Because I explained that we are all energy. At mm. the lowest, we are in fear, and that is unconsciousness, anxiety, mm. and all that. And you vibrate the same. There is a cup that was put on, on a head in an experiment, and then they told people to start thinking. Those who are anxious, those that we are afraid, then they showed them some movies, some horrors. Mm. As people were indulging in lower energy vib vibrational frequencies, you could see on a computer the wave going down, indicating fear and anxiety. Mm. When it was... They were happy, they were joyful, they, it, it was love, especially when they were authentic and maybe they are playing video games, mm. you know, and they are feeling they are the ones taking over the game. It was more or less authentic and love. So love is the highest vibrational energy. It is an energy that moves your body matter. Mm. Love is what you are. It is not something I'm sharing with. <laughs> 
So there is no way you have love today and you don't have it tomorrow. <laughs> an energy vibration of frequency mm. so that is on a primary level between men and women okay mm. and the men also go through this kind of sense of validation you get sense of validation from something outside of yourself when i give birth to children and i live for them and i pay their school fees that is something to live for mm. something to live for is not the same as living because you live for yourself when you begin living for something else, you're also giving your life for another meaning else, elsewhere. We are creating a family. And then this family that we are creating is what is going to, to, to feel life is meaningful when you have children. Mm. Children are going to wake up one day, they're going to go. They are with you and looking to you as family. For as long as they are not responsible, remember what I told you. Mm -hmm. And for as long as they cannot regulate themselves and they are in fear, but when they outgrow their fear and they want to go and do certain things on their own, you're powerless. That's when they move out. And that is when now parents begin to force their children. You must do things the way I tell you to do them because you are losing control. Mm. Do you get how frustrating it is? These children are going to get up one day and they are going to go. And the reasons for which you said we are going to be together are not going to be there. And then there is the social template, which says sell yourself, fulfill these guidelines, and men about it. You are a man when you do this. You are a woman when you do this. So you're not even a woman. When you don't give birth or you're not married, you're not a man. When you don't earn this amount of money and you don't have a wife and children, you so people are trying to fit into these social templates, but then you ask them, who is this telling you these things? Does he have a hand? Can you touch them? Is it matter? Can you feel it when you touch it? Mm. Can you feel society? It's in your head. It's an illusion. But you're living it every day. And you study it from day one. Yeah. Up to the day. Yeah, a young baby <laughs> has a doll to play with. And a boy is given a car to, to drive around. They're already programming them in terms of what exactly they should be and how they should grow. So they are simply running a program, even when they grow, not even sitting, being able to do that. Like I said, people fear to be judged as failures when I was talking about how people, why they fear responsibility. True, true. And then they also fear to take personal responsibility that this thing is not working actually, the foundation is not right. It's some mm. illusion I'm living, so I'm going to live my truth now. Who, who, who's going to say that? There is society. Who's society? The other is, where is it? Touch it and bring society here. Nobody is saying that society shouldn't be obeyed. And should, but I'm just saying, it can be for the good or for the bad, but it doesn't exist. But you must follow. And then look at the orders of what society is. There are traditional roles they say a woman is supposed to cook for the man, give birth to a baby, clean the house, do everything. You, you get what I'm trying and to say? Stay there. I with the man's clothes, do and a man is supposed to bring be the be the hunter, bring food at home, pay school fees, look after in laws, build a house. When you look at what each of these sides has to do, you ask on the side of a woman, if a man has to cook every day mm. when she's sick she can't say she's sick because the whole home will fall apart she has to bathe the, the young kids mm. has to look after the man including looking for socks and socks and shoes in traditional setting mm. who's doing the same things for that woman when you give too much and you give out of your own void mm. at some point you're bound to run crazy because you're giving from nothing you end up giving yourself until there is nothing left. Then you become complacent. Then the man. You imagine also. I won't tell you to imagine you're a man. Me, let me imagine I'm a man. Everything around you rotates around your being able to provide financially to win this, to navigate a woman's fear, like I have just said, to do this. Honestly, at the end of the day, you sleep in that bed, come back to that house, knowing that you're actually not loved for who you are. But for what you can do. What you can do. 
how you can handle the fear given to Even you. Even when you're sick, <laughs> someone is asking dad, is there anything that I should know? Meaning the land titles, these things, are they cleared? Did you sell the house where we are in? And then someone has to bargain. If you are going to go in hospital and they have to treat you expensively, a woman has to think, what are the guarantees is going to be okay? If he's not okay, where are we going to remain after he's gone? So he's, she's forced to cut down on what would make you okay. And think about that now you, you can die, what are they going to remain with after you're dead? So your whole being and, and life is put on a line because someone is looking at how they're going to survive after you, not what can, everything they can do to make you survive. Either way, everybody is lonely. Mm. But deceiving people that we are not lonely, we are okay. Simply because there is a dopamine high that is involved in someone, in someone appearing to be there for you, which is an addiction mm. also. A very good addiction. <laughs> <laughs> And there are things to also mm. season it as mm. something that is working. I'm not against this thing. I'm saying it is better, choice is better when it is, it is well served, when it is well informed. If it is from two people who are conscious of themselves and are living their lives consciously, it is a different ballgame. Mm. But as we know, even the term consciousness, we are just speaking about it. This is something of... We, we are talking about, because science has just brought in these new revelations. Mm -hmm. So it's not something that we have been into. And yet lack of personal responsibility. We are not also able to tell ourselves as the human psyche is always avoiding itself and avoiding the truth and avoiding the unknown. Mm -hmm. Nobody can take personal responsibility and wake up and say, hey, I was wrong about this. What I thought it was is not well. How dare you? I came to cook in this house. If you, if you came to cook, whether you like it or not, you're going to stick with me. Now you're, you're letting me off the hook and I go where? If not, let us divide whatever is here and I go my if, way. If you can divide <laughs> even better. Well, but someone is saying, I go where? How else am I going to live? This is what I know. Well, where do I go? I came to cook in this house and stay. Do you get how we navigate our personal relationships? Mm -hmm. This is how we come into relationships. And also there is something when you've had enough of this human void, it triggers all of us differently. True. The first step that someone wants is relief. So even when I connect to you, I connect to James there, I connect to Rosette the other side. Do you know what I'm connecting to? I'm not connecting to those people. I'm connecting to the excitement they bring in my life that can cause me not to remember my own human void. So we, in the end, the things we like other people to be to us, we're also not giving them to ourselves and not giving them to others. You get how tricky it is? Interesting. Hmm? So it all gets very, very complicated. Because now instead of knowing people for who they are, you're getting to know them for whatever excitement they bring in your life. This is why it is very easy. If I want excitement at that point of a human void when I'm triggered by questions of what is the meaning of life, I'm a fairy, I don't want to take personal responsibility, that is the time to go to the bar. In that bar, because I'm looking at someone in as far as how they excite my life mm. and the personal excitement they bring to my life. I can buy someone beer. I'm giving an example. Mm. And they can drink and get silly and I laugh. Because I connect to people in regard to how much excitement they bring in my life, not for who they are. Mm. Do, you, do you get what, what it is? Connecting to people out of excitement, not for who they are. Ah, let's go out, let's go out for as long as you never talk about the real issues about life. You never talk about the serious stuff. It's more or less like inviting a, a village drunkard to a wedding. <laughs> really? <laughs> let's go to a house of parties so all of us can forget what we are. Hmm. So you find majority of people coping in today's world from the excitement of what, the excitement that people bring in their lives, hmm. not for the real stuff. Hmm. So this, this is the reality.
of how human interactions go. And this is how the void triggers human interactions. Wow.